I've seen lots of tutorials on this and a lot of them don't work anymore um, or are really complicated and far too long. So this is just going to be a simple VR lever that detonates an explosion and rotates a cube. <laughs> and don't worry about the lighting change. That Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial where I'm going to be blowing myself up. We're going to start by pressing Control space bar and opening our grab and we're going to open our grab component and we're also going to open our grab type under display name change this to restricted and then in the grab component come to on grab and create a new parameter change this to a motion controller object reference change the name to motion controller now come up to try grab and compile you'll get an error but don't worry right click refresh nodes then plug that in there right compile save and you're done with these we're now going to make our lever So we'll make a new folder called Blueprints. We're going to right click a new Blueprint class, Actor. We'll call this BP Lever. Open that up and then add a cube. Then press R. Let's scale that down. Next, we're going to add a scene and just put that on top of a cube. Put the cube inside so that the scene is parenting the cube. And then we're going to add a grab component like that. Change the grab type to restricted. You can also move it up to the top. Compile, save. You can delete these nodes. Here you're going to right click on the grab component, add an event, event on grab, and event, an event on dropped. You're then going to right click and promote the motion controller to a variable. Control D to duplicate this. Next you're going to set timer by function name. And we're just going to make a new function. Call this update rotation. Just copy that because we need to paste it into the function name. Change the time to 0 0.02, 0.01 if you have a fast computer and click the looping. You can plug this into a clear and invalidate timer by handle. And we're just going to right click to promote this to a variable. Change the name to timer. You can then get the timer. And that just goes in there. All right, compile, save. That should be that done. Go to the update rotation and get your grab component and get your motion controller. Get the world transform and control D to duplicate that. Next, make relative transform. Plug the grab component into A and the motion controller into relative 2. You're then going to right click and split struct pin. Out of grab component, you're going to get, get relative location and plug the location minus the 
relative location from the make relative transform. Then I'm going to right click and split struct pin. Then out of the X, add that. Now drag your scene on and get relative rotation. We're going to add the Y. Next, I'm going to clamp this and set the minus to 70 and the plus to 70. Next, set the relative rotation of your scene. Right click and split struct pin. That clamp is going to go into the Y and the Z and the X are going to go in like that. Now I'm going to add something for the lever to interact. Don't forget to connect the update rotator through like that. And then you can compile, save. And um, we're going to go back to our blueprints folder, right click Come down to Blueprints and choose Blueprint Interface. Call this BPI underscore interact. Now you can open that up and make a new function called set value. And then scroll down to inputs, click plus. Change this to a float and change the name to Lever value. Alright, compile and save that. And now we'll make another blueprint. This time we'll be an actor. Call this BP underscore explosion. Open that up. And I'm just going to add a cube that we're going to rotate. Come to your class settings and in the interfaces, click add and then search for the BPI Interact that you made a moment ago. Compile that and then head over to the event graph. First, actually in the BP lever, we're gonna put out and we're gonna set value message and then right click on the target and promote this to a variable. And then with that selected, just change the variable type to an actor. So actor object reference, change variable. And then you just your return value you can go into the lever value. Then in the BP explosion, you can delete these nodes, right click and search for event set value. Drag on your cube and set world rotation. <clears throat> right click and split struct pin. And then you can plug your lever value into whichever axis, <clears throat> yep. whichever axis you want the cube to rotate around. So you can plug that in there. And now I'm going to Spawn emitter at location. Going to choose the explosion. Then I'm going to spawn system at location. This is something I made with the Niagara plugin. I've got a tutorial that you can follow for that, but it's just a simple explosion. And then I'm going to spawn sound at location. And again, choose that explosion sound. Now we're going to drag in our cube, get location, get world location, and that can go into each of these locations. Compile, save, and in order to actually use this in the game, I'll show you how we lay that out. So you can close down the blueprint now. 
drag in your lever and your explosion. And then actually just open up the lever quickly and set the target actor to visible like that. Compile that. And now the target, you can pick the explosion. All right, let's test this out. Bloody hell. That was loud. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe.